In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the fifth important component to offense in Madden 21, and that is the ability to be able to score in the red zone. So how do you score in the red zone consistently? And when I talk about the red zone, I really am talking about the 14 yard line to about the two yard line. Really, how do we score in those situations on the offense side of the ball? We're gonna show you how to do that out of the Gun Bunch Offensive Guide in this video. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed yet, my name is Cody and my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they could possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just wanna encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen it is completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel now the play that we when we talk about offense we, we are talking about the gun bunch offense and if you want to get my entire gun bunch offensive guide complete breakdown of this with video uh with video breakdown written setups written explanation as well as film study analysis you can get that entire guide in the description i'm going to leave a link down below for you to be able to get it you can get the whole thing for just 15 dollars. it literally walks you through step by step how to literally run the best offense in the entire game but what i want to do in this video is i want to spend just a moment talking about the fifth component and that is the ability to be able to score in the red zone and so we have basically five plays that we call in our simple offensive scheme the first one is a base play and so my favorite base play from this offense is the play flood i love this play it has answers for every single coverage and so we're going to call that play probably 70 to 80 percent of the game the second play that we like to call is a counter play and so as you see in my audibles here i've got the play jets dig that's going to serve as my counter play the third play that we like to call is a constraint three play something that we can kind of go to that's going to take advantage of when the defense over pursues and that's the smash return the fourth type of play that we want to be able to call is a three-headed rushing attack so the ability to be able to run the ball um, at any point on our opponent that's the halfback base and then the final play that we want to call is we want to talk today about the mesh post and how you can leverage this to be able to score inside the five yard line. So what we like to do as far as how we like to use this play to score inside the five yard line is we're going to be very, very simple with how we're going to approach this. But basically all we're going to do is we're going to put the square receiver on an out route. We're going to put the R1 receiver on a little, um, little hitch route, just like so. And that's pretty much it. And if they run zone coverage, almost every time that running back is going to get open. If they run a zone coverage, the running back is the answer. Okay. The running back is the answer. If they run zone coverage almost every single time. Okay, that's the route that we wanna hit. So what most people are gonna do inside the red zone is they might go to some type of, you know, Mabel coverage. And then what they might do is they might put a yellow zone on the side of the running back to try to take away the option route, right? We love to run option routes. And so this is where another example here, and what you're gonna notice here is that I can hit this little hitch. If they don't put a yellow zone on the right side of the field, I can hit the hitch very consistently. And so what it forces your opponent to have to do is it really forces him to have to drop different types of people. Now, you might say, well, my opponent doesn't like to drop people. Okay, so he's going to do something like this, and he's going to choose to not defend the flats. If he chooses to not defend the flats, then that's where the tight end route is going to get you so many touchdowns. This is a nice little easy quick read, but it is very, very effective for getting you yardage inside the five-yard line. So you can, you can have the ability to hit the tight end route. Now, the big question that you might be asking is, what do you do whenever they call man coverage? Because if they go to man coverage here, um, you're going to see that, as you can see right there, the out route to the left side is actually super underrated. It doesn't always get open, but it's worth at least a look. Um, you'll see here, it gets open again on that little out cut. Easy read, easy dot. Most people don't hit the out route against man coverage this year. The out route is actually a very consistent read um, against the man-to-man -man coverage. Now, the other route that I wanna show you is this little hitch. You see that the hitch is not gonna be effective if they get bumped. So if the hitch route gets pressed, I would definitely consider going to something else. But the next route that I wanna share with you is really your money route against man coverage, and that is the circle receiver. Um, you, once your circle receiver cuts to the middle of the field, as long as the corner is not incredibly talented and incredibly better than him, um, you're gonna have a pretty good opportunity. So again, we're gonna show you this one more time. And we're just going to try to hit this little post right there as you see wide open dot touchdown packers now a couple things that they can do to adjust over this so another example of something that they could do to adjust to you is they could go to 
basically manning up the running back inside the five yard line. Well, the problem with doing this, okay, the problem with doing this is another red zone play that we like and a play that we've been running a lot is flood. And so if I put this running back on an option route and they have man coverage, that's going to be a touchdown every single time. Let me show you that one more time. So if they run like a Mabel coverage, right, they do something like that on the right, and then they just man up the running back on the left and they have somebody back there to, you know, take away some stuff. What's going to happen is if you put him on an option route, you are going to have so much success. Just a little pop, a little quick pop pass. You might need to um, smart route that option route, but you're going to basically be able to torch the man coverage. So if they just try to man up the running back, that's where I really like to use an option route. So I'll go to this setup right here. And for whatever reason, I'm, I'm having very bad timing. But like I said, you know, this is something if you practice this, this play flood is also good in the red zone. So you have, you know, you still have your power play can still be effective in the red zone. All we like to do is just hitch the circle receiver. Um, and then we like to option around the triangle right on the cut is where you want to low ball it. Um, if you're having issues like what I'm running into right here, then all you want to do, um, all you want to do here is you just want to take the square receiver and you want to put him on a little smoke screen. That's going to pull the zone out of the way here. So you see the zone gets pulled out of the way. And then, of course, I can't get the ball to him. But but as you can see, I mean, he's he's getting open. I just got to get him. I just got to get a pass to him. So we'll, we'll try to show it to you one more time here. Uh, but the, the the point of this is you have answers for man coverage and zone coverage, depending on how they play the running back. Most people don't realize that, in my opinion, there we go, finally hit it. The most important player on the field is actually the running back. And so what it's going to lead them to do is it's going to lead them to do something like this right here. And this is where this player is really, really successful. It's going to lead them to literally drop everybody into coverage. As you can see, we're dropping everybody into coverage. And if you just watch how this play works, and unfolds. Um, if you run zone on the left side, it does not matter if you have 45 people in his own coverage. That wheel route is going to get open in the back corner of the end zone. As you can see right there, zone coverage can't stop it. Now, what if their user goes and guards them? What if their user goes and guards them? It's a great question, great point. We want to cover that in this video. So we're going to go with that same max coverage, and we're going to put the user on them. We're going to say, okay, we've considered that if the user takes the running back. So let's just say we, we know that it's the user, so we're not going to try to force anything. But we're going to, what's going to happen is we're going to look left. And you're going to see here that this post route, and of course, um, it didn't drag across like we want it to. But this, this post route, whenever we drag it across there, it's going to have a lot of success. Let me show you that one more time. Let me try to get him to drag uh, his toes a little bit better. So again, we're going to set this up. And for whatever reason, I can literally not adjust. This is awesome. Sometimes this happens in Madden. I don't know why they made this this year, like where you over adjust and then you just like the game completely glitches out and freezes. But again, if we look to the right here, you're going to see once that post hits the top there, you see how it kind of cuts off. Okay. You see how he kind of cuts off. That's a little bit of a challenge. Um, it's something that you can get, you can, uh, you can like mitigate. It's a risk that you can take care of. The way that you take care of that is you, and this is one little subtle thing. It is something that I actually do a lot in the red zone anyway. So, you know, it's not like the end of the world. It is something that is, a, you know, a little bit of a difference from what we always want to do. But if you just take this guy here and you just motion him to the right, just a little bit, you're going to have him see how he can get to the back of the end zone there, gets the back corner, and then there's there's basically windows for you to be able to hit him. So you can do that. The other thing that you can do, this is where I really like to do. So if you notice that they are manning up the running back a lot, or not manning up the running back, but they, they're running to the running back a lot. If you go to the play flood, um, if you go to the play flood and you just put that circle receiver on a smart run hitch, Running back goes on the option route. What you're going to get is these guys are going to drag their toes. Um, you see how they kind of drag across, and then you can kind of just hit them in the pockets. That's another really great option. So, anyways, that is how you score in the red zone in Madden 21. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions, feel free to text me. My number is 208. 218-6900 and feel free if you want to get the entire offensive guide it is the best offense in Madden 21 it literally comes with completely broken down um, step by step instructions for how you can literally start running this today and how you can master the offense relatively quickly thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you